Today we are in the town of Hogsund, Norway. It is a little bit gloomy and rainy, but we are going to explore this town, hit some shops, eat some delicious food, and see all the sights. Come along on our adventure and let's get out and live a little. And in case you're new here, we are currently on a cruise with Celebrity exploring parts of Norway. And last week's episode, we were in the town of Kristiansand. Good morning, Emma. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, I'm checking out my raincoat. I've had it for like two or three years now, but I've had zero need for it. We bring it on all trips, but it's supposed to be pretty rainy today. So definitely bringing the raincoat. And we are in, how the heck do you say this name Hogson. in the town? Hogsund. Hogsund? Hogsund. Hogsund. There's no D. There is a D. So I'm sure we've butchered it. But we don't have much plans. And I want to get out because I wanted to be off about 45 minutes ago. So let's go. Let's explore and have some fun. So right when you get off the ship, there is a, a visitor center right here. So let's go check that out and try and figure out what we're actually gonna do today. Since it's raining right now and it's supposed to rain all day, we are gonna do the hop on hop off bus. I think we'll do a, the full loop takes an hour. I think we'll pretty much almost do the loop, stop at like a big huge monument that's super famous and then the next stops are down. So we'll just get back on and then do town and then explore ourselves. But it was just too rainy today to do some of the other options that I had planned. So this is what we're doing. The Hop On Hop Off bus gave you headphones so you could listen in whatever language you speak and it was a 450 krone for an adult, 225 krone for a child, which is approximately 40 US dollars for an adult and approximately 20 US dollars for a child. The bus made a total of six stops and it takes approximately 50 minutes to make a full loop all the way around and you can get off at any of these stops and see the sights and hop right back on. We're in Hogson, and what well, we learned, they gave you a very informative like uh, speech on like what's Norway and what the culture's like here. So 20% of all the cars in Norway are electric now, which is super cool. And two thirds of all new cars that are being sold are electric as well. The average price of a house here is 500,000 krona, which is about $250,000, US think. dollars. US dollars. And 75% of the people that live in Norway own a house. Which is impressive. Really interesting. really interesting. And most of the houses in this area are neoclassical style houses. The roofs on most of these are insane. They're these like scalloped slate roofs. Yes. They're really pretty. You know what it actually, this is a fishing town and it reminds me of fish scales. Oh like, yeah. And so, but they're slate and they're super cool. We'll really try cool. to get a picture of yeah. it right here. Also, there are 875,000 immigrants in Norway and most of them are Polish or a large percentage of them are Polish, which is super interesting. And we also learned that they start school at six, finish at 16, and then they can do uh, trade school or university. Yeah. And this town was founded on herring fishing, basically. Yes. The, uh, apparently the saying is that this town is built on herring bones. So that's interesting. Yeah, we learned a lot on the bus. Not usually our typical way of going about No, they exploring. really want you to move to Hogsund. <laughs> yeah, it was just it's really, really, really rainy today and not the best weather. So all of our other plans kind of got washed out, literally. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, we're moving to Hogsund after this one. <laughs> Let's go explore a little more. One of the other things that we are also noticing when we get into some of these ports, because we've been getting in really early and getting off pretty much right away, is that a lot of the shops and stuff don't actually open until about 10ish. So just keep that in mind if you're planning on getting off and shopping immediately or eating or anything, that not everything may be opened. We have a natural umbrella today. Next up, we went to go explore our Savior's Church, and this church was designed by architect Enar Holland. 
The building is constructed in red-facing brick in a neo-Gothic historic style, and the tower is 160 feet high, and the church was dedicated in 1901 and can seat a total of 1,030 people. Not the best for a drone, but the sun is coming out, Emma. The sun is good. I like sun. I like no rain. It's windy. Check out these flavors and these Cheetos. Pizza, hamburger, cheese with ketchup, paprika, but peanut. Cafe to get a little snack. I don't know what that is, but it looks very tasty. What do you think? It's good. The roll is like sweet. Uh, it's almost like a donut, but it's not a donut. And then the cinnamon roll is really good. It's a unique way to roll it. It's really yummy. It's pretty. It's yummy. So there is a street here. I'll put the name at the bottom, but it is no car traffic, just people's. Just people's. It's only for people. And there is a bunch of shops and stuff. And we went through a few. They had some great stuff. I would definitely recommend it. So we kept walking and we ran into a bakery and now we're getting sandwiches with I believe shrimp and salmon on it. We'll find out, but I'm excited. We keep seeing everybody order sandwiches and they keep having shrimp on them, so we thought we'd try it out. Okay, so those were good. <laughs> the salmon one was really like light and refreshing and then the shrimp one was really good and sweet. The salmon one had lettuce, peppers, and butter. And yeah, I mean, oh, and cucumbers. But I would definitely recommend that. We were the only ones that spoke English in there, but it yep. was delicious. Go here. So that delicious sandwich we just had is a roll with butter on both sides, uh, lettuce, two slivers of red pepper, two cucumbers, a uh, bunch of shrimp, and mayonnaise on top, and it was delicious. This building is the Capitol building. Or as Jack calls it, red. Yeah, Jack thinks this is red. It's more of a salmon pink color though. So all the buildings, all the original buildings are like wood. And so there used to be big fires in these towns and so they changed the rules. And so if you look at the old houses, sometimes you'll see small brick, there's brick structures in between and that was to break up the fire. We hopped back on the bus to head over to Harald's Hagen, which is a national monument. It's actually Norway's only national monument. It was erected during the millennial celebration of Norway's unification into one kingdom under the rule of King Harald Fairhar. I will note both of these names below because I'm sorry if I butchered it. It commemorates the Battle of Harriskvord. Again, I will note it. It is regarded as the point in which Western Norway was for the first time unified under one monarch. And it is apparently the burial site of King Harald I who died circa 933. And it was designed by architect Christian Christie. It's a large burial mound surrounded by granite walls with 29 standing stones representing each of the old Norwegian countries. Just got back to the ship. Uh, I just wanted to clarify a couple things because I said it incorrectly in the previous part. But the average salary in Norway is 500,000 krona, which is about $47,000. And then the average house price in Norway is 4 million krona, which is roughly $327,000 as of today. So apparently there is a footpath along the coast. It's about an hour and a half long is what it says. We did not do that because the weather didn't clear up till we got back on the ship, but 
it's uh, it's really beautiful. So maybe give it a go. I, I would definitely do it if it was a nice day. And it's seven point five kilometers, and like Jack said, it takes about an hour and a half from city center to walk to the uh, the big statue that I'm showing right here. Since we were back on the ship, we were going to go do a free activity, so we went to go make some paracord bracelets in Eden. We're going to leave this one. Informational on how to make a paracord on YouTube. <laughs> okay. You're a pro. Yeah, all those years of camp finally can work. <laughs> it's helpful. I almost got mine done. The artist admiring her work. <laughs> Once she put the like first step or two, I remembered exactly how to do it. it. Brought me back to my camp days. It's fun. And so now we just, when we get home, we'll have to just cut this close and burn it, and then it'll look like the ones you buy in stores. That was a super fun activity. Free activity at Celebrity. I would definitely recommend it. It's a lot of fun. And just like that, we are on our way, leaving Hogsind and on our way to the town of Geringer. Here's the monument we were at today. gambling now we're gonna go head to dinner and go see the comedian and then I think we're just gonna hang in our room tonight because we have an epic day planned for tomorrow and I'm excited but a little nervous so let's go eat dinner a little taster was trout with beets the kale salad but I did not get the watermelon this time I did the lamb meatballs and Jack just wanted to try one so our waiter gave me a few extra because he also said they were delicious and he was correct Jack got the cod for dinner I did the vegetarian lasagna with the gruyere bechamel sauce and then we surprisingly both did dessert Jack got a chocolate Neapolitan cake and I did a hazelnut cake very tasty Okay, so we just finished off at Lumine, and it was good. We actually got dessert tonight, which is different. Mine was delicious, not super rich, very tasty. My dinner, on the other hand, was extremely rich and creamy, but delicious. Mine was really good. Yeah, I took a bite of yours. Yours was delicious. And then, ooh, those meatballs, they were tasty. And you had a basic salad. Yep. <laughs> so we forgot to mention, we're going to call it an early night. Yeah, we need some sleep. we got an epic day tomorrow. Hopefully we're not going to go gamble anymore. There is a comedian tonight. We're not, not gonna so make sure it. we're going to make it. Before we go to bed, we're going to go say hi to someone that remembers us from the last time we are here that's in the crew. So we got to go find her, go say hi. Um, so yeah, I think that's yeah. it. So till next time, get out and live a little. Bye, guys. If you haven't hit like and subscribe yet, now would be a fantastic time because next week's episode, we are going to see some amazing fjords some spectacular views, and then do something I am super uncomfortable with, but then see some more amazing views. So stay tuned for next week. You can see me.